sometimes in my head I got that Mufasa <laughs> Lion King voice they'd be like you will go and make a sandwich mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah sometimes you got to now I am starting to think y'all niggas are crazy <laughs> All right, what's going on? It's Y'all Points Podcast. You're tuned into the freshest crew. I go by the name of Jonathan the Great. This is Kyle. This is Sam, aka the semi conscious stagecoach. It's May West. Hey, too. Tim in the corner. And we are back again for another episode. How goes it? How goes it? How goes it? Man. It's good. It's good. It goes. It goes man. how it. Okay. Well, yeah. Feeling good today. What can I say, man? I go where I please. Right on. And, and I, I please, please where, where I go. Who <laughs> <laughs> originally said that? What's understood? <laughs> I ain't got to explain. You see what we're right doing here? I'm going to jump in on that. I swear. In a world of constipation uh, and diarrhea, it's okay to be a regular piece of shit. All right. Uh, all right. We getting quotables out of the like way. A, uh, that sounds like a Kyle. Yeah, it's like, Kyle but when I come with quotes, that's when everyone wants to roll their eyes. It's okay, when they do it, spit it's a problem out there. It's <laughs> cool. I just like my butthole, always holding up shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, would, he might have that in the chat. Uh-huh. He was waiting for the day. I heard it, I heard it yesterday at GTA San Andreas. Yeah, I was like, I know that's wrong. Oh, so man. stupid. All right, so. <laughs> what's what's going on, everybody? Anybody got something to highlight the show? Top uh, it off. I mean, I'm a little scared to travel. Why is that? I mean, what in the country or out of the country? <laughs> Both. Because <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if y'all saw what happened on that United flight. No. Uh-uh. So this went. This man, he was he went buck wild. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna stab everybody. In this. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so like, this man, this man was in the bathroom. With a metal spoon, oh. mm. turned it into a shiv. Oh man, he was really knocked his, I would have knocked his ass. How long was his flight? He was going. What was, I think it was like it was from like L.A. to Boston or something like that. Yeah. So this man, this man was like, you know, he had this long ass beard, right? Man, he's like <laughs> you know, French, he was, yeah. That wasn't the first. You know, <laughs> right there. Right there? <laughs> he was a little. He's a little dark. Mm, so you know, like, these people got some suspicions. <laughs> he was like, actually, his last name was like bro. Torres. What? <laughs> 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 it, it was what? It was like Torres or something like that. So you know, it was a little confusing there. Yeah. Whatever that bro. In the Front was not bothered. <laughs> oh yeah, it's well, like, right there. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Gerald Briscoe. <laughs> so okay, um, so what is that happening? He just so he was like, I don't know if he had like a mental breakdown mm-hmm. or something like that, or he like he had planned this shit. Hmm. But he was trying to stab motherfuckers with it, like his, his sharpened spoon. <laughs> see, was this like during the takeoff? See, or see if before? I was on that plane uh, and just thinking about 9-11, uh-huh. I'd have been the first voluntary person to get up and knock his ass. Exactly. Yeah, look, they, look, the boy's on him and uh-huh. the girl. The air marshal done took way too many time, went and waited way too long for him. He, as soon as that dude would have raised his voice like two octaves higher than it should have been, <laughs> yeah. air marshal should have been all over him. Look, uh, he I mean, got hands and feet. Mm-hmm. I mean, you really want to mess with a man who thought he was strong enough to open one of them emergency doors mid flight? Oh, okay. <laughs> I did see that. Okay. Yeah. I saw it briefly or whatever. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the guy. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I'm going I'm to get out of here. And this, all right. So they put him in some like uh, some some zip tie cuffs, too. Mm-hmm. This man was listening to that dude that I'm going to break these cuffs because he was like, <laughs> broke out the bitches. They was like grabbing their belts and shit to mm-hmm. try to like restrain them. So, I mean, you know, it's getting sad. I mean, and grabbed him by his beard and shit. <laughs> just kept pulling. Just weird, it's getting sad that it, it, it's just as much crazy people on the subway as it is in the air now. No. Like, it's just like, no. Wait, how many subways you been on? Uh, oh, you talking about subways? No. You talking about, no, no, talking about no. Hell, talking. we seen your little <laughs> compilation. <laughs> Wait, what, what, I've been what are you on enough about? to be like, nah, this ain't it. This ain't for nah, me. Look, look, it's the easy solution. What you do is you keep a, a, a manscaped on you at all times. And then you just shave his beard off, and that's where all his power is held. <laughs> that was so he can't do anything at that point. Yeah. He, he's just going to be like, ah, oh, it's leaving my body. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like that. With each no. follicle, he's rendered more and more useless. <laughs> that's crazy, though. be honest. Because right. it really makes you wonder what drove him over. Was it just like peanuts? Yeah. You know? That's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> was somebody else on the armrest, and he's like, ah. Uh, that, that, that definitely could be it. Nah, I've seen a gremlin on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stewart was like, would you like chicken or beef? And she, he was like, chicken. She's like, oh, we're out of chicken. And he was like, why'd you give me that? 
that out. <laughs> and she was like, you want chicken or beef? And he said, beef. And that's what drove him crazy. <laughs> but you know how you brought up like the subways and the planes mm -hmm. and crazy people? Mm -hmm. What if like six women in green body suits was on the plane? <laughs> he wouldn't have had a chance. I mean, no, you right. They'd have, they'd have beat his ass. <laughs> right. Right. Nah, that's wild as hell. Yeah. But where else traveling in the country or out of the country? Well, I mean, just to put a cap on that last one, though, mm -hmm. man. Oh, the, 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 the thing is, is that they about to put this man away for life. I mean, like, they was like, you know, it carries a maximum sentence of forever. Yeah. So I was like, I'm <laughs> trying to open the emergency. Yeah. All that oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. You're putting everyone in danger. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, cool. But well, if I were to travel movie. somewhere, I sure as shit ain't going to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. yeah. That's I remember, I remember back in the day when I had me a little Tijuana baby mama, yeah. and I was wanting to go there. Mm -hmm. I remember her, and I was like, nah, yeah, it was too dangerous. I, I mean, yeah. it was so risky though. I, was like, I mean, nah. is if it you, worth the risk though? If you try to open the emergency door instead of giving them life. To just put him on a plane, take him up 30,000 feet, and just throw his ass off. Like, this is what you wanted? Yeah. yeah. What if he survives? He, he, he ain't going to survive that. Yeah, if he, he becomes survive, stronger. He's free to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. He can walk away scot-free. What if he punches the ground and the earth moves down a little bit, <laughs> two inches lower? Yeah. So you think Trump was on to something about Mexico? He might have been. Mm. I mean, it happened in Mexico, though. Mm -hmm. So. What happened in Mexico? Mexico. So we're yeah, about to say we need to we tell the <laughs> tell the story. What happened? So apparently these these, these people, like these four Americans, went down to Mexico mm -hmm. and they wanted to do some. It was like some cosmetic surgery or some shit like that. And they was getting them dunks. It was like right on the uh, right on the border town of like Brownsville. So they was like they just hopped, skipped across the border, to get some like stuff done. Mm -hmm. And then it was like the shootout that was like right where they was at. Mm. One of the Mexican citizens got killed. Shout out to him. Um, but then they just got abducted. Like, they got thrown in the back of a, a fucking truck and just skirt, just went out, right? You coming with me. So... Were they there legally? Yeah, they were there legally. You can go where... Yeah, you're American. You can go wherever you want. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My Spanish teacher used to tell me that in Mexico City, if you look like you have money and are a tourist, they will absolutely snatch your ass up and try to hold you for ransom. That's and if you go in for plastic surgery... You got some money. <laughs> That's why you got to come over there with like the fucking like holes in your jeans. Got the mm -hmm. top hat with the fit right in. <laughs> you you know? fit right in. <laughs> Wear your bummiest outfits. But I guess what? Two of them died? Yeah. yeah. Well, not, I, yeah, yeah, not died, but two nah, of them were murdered. Yeah. So. Yeah. I was like, damn. I'm like, because it was just yesterday they were talking about there's like a $50,000 ransom for them, you know, whatnot. So I was mm -hmm. like, damn, they about to snatch them up quick. Yeah. I just feel like that's the unawareness slash. I would say entitlement. A little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just thinking you can go anywhere in the world hey, and do what hey. you want to do. Yeah. We're Americans. Some countries play by different rules, especially oh, yeah. you got For right now. Until like, democracy gets to them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or if they can got oil Trump back in office. <laughs> <laughs> you need to realize that our freedoms and rights do not apply. No, yeah, they don't trans yeah. transition to. Uh, they do not have a constitution like ours. It's crazy because I was going to go down to Mexico a couple weeks ago, man. Mm -hmm. I know, wanted to see some whales. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even supposed to drive. You're supposed to fly. Just a little no. side tangent. I think it's crazy. Why did I start this sentence? I want to back out. Somebody take over. <laughs> so I was wondering, because with this added, why do we have like a strange, I wouldn't say fascination with like the morbid type shit, like all this real like dark, I wouldn't say almost depressing type shit or whatever. Like maybe not us in particular, but just as a society, like I was looking at the, some YouTube channel or whatever, and they was talking about some Mexican uh, uh, cartel or whatever, and how they like, they, they were clowns or whatever. They wore the mask and they do like some really fucking twist this shit and like it has so many views because there's so many people that are fascinated by this like real crazy shit and i'm like why are we like this you want the actual answer or the woke nigga answer Which Which both. Both. <laughs> yeah yeah i like get the, get the woke nigga one first Woke. well <clears throat> let me clear my throat woke nigga answer here is that see they are programming us mm. to live and revel in this debauchery to make us sinful to make us evil Hell so yeah. that when the time comes we ain't going to heaven we going down mm -hmm. with satan mm -hmm. that's the woke nigga answer right there that's what they say on the interwebs my answer 
that's just a cartel. I mean, they just yeah. crazy as shit. Well, yeah. Well, like, I mean, <clears throat> not necessarily just targeting to the cartel, but you got shows. Why, why are we fascinated with, uh, like, viewing that shit? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Just like you got you, you got uh, all these murder docs and all this shit and everything it's, that's happening. People do out this? here, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Is it murder porn? It's pretty much like the same thing of, like, why you, like, murder, murder why you, like, porn. break your neck looking at a car accident when you're driving by. It's yeah. like, things are supposed to work in this particular order. And when they don't, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah you know I, what I mean? I, I would add on to that. In my opinion, I feel it's like death is the one fucking thing that like you are hardwired to not be able to comprehend mm -hmm. because like of self-preservation. You're not supposed to be able to be like, oh, yeah, what if I died? Like, <laughs> so to actually see it in reality, it's this weird sort of like it reminds you of mortality while simultaneously being like, yo, this is uh what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. and, you, and you might just be like, oh, that's how they died. I know how to avoid it now. Yeah, yeah. You know? Maybe. We're also moving towards idiocracy there. I mean, oh, you know how it goes. You start seeing the people when there's like shootings and stuff going on. There's always going to be people filming. Mm, it's yeah. like, why are you not running? Like yeah, my barber was telling exactly. me today, saw a video of a shooting there and this motherfucker dropped their phone right <laughs> next to the dude shooting because he had his like hands covering his eyes and was just shooting and they stopped to pick it up. It's like, why did you do that? You know why? <laughs> Leave the phone. You know why? Because the cameraman never dies. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> no, that's true. Hack for true. life. That's not true. Because in, um, um, uh, what's that fucking movie that came out in like 2009? Ah, God damn it. Uh, I feel like I know what you're talking about. So you can't yeah. even remember. No, because it was. Um, Point proven. <laughs> no. It was where the, the monster came out of nowhere and it cut the head off the Statue of Liberty. And Cloverfield? Shit. Cloverfield. There yeah, we go. yeah, 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 yeah. Because at That's the end of that movie, uh, you said what? Man. The he quiet, said the cameraman never dies. The cameraman died at the if end the of that quiet movie. Kids start shooting. It's time to pull out your phone. <laughs> the cameraman never dies. No, nah, exactly. man. Do you do you know he died though? Yeah. Did they show him die? What if he just took he a nap? Was, he bro. was dead. He got, rah, rah. It was only implication, man. No, bro. shut up. He could have lived on. <laughs> exactly. How do you that, think they got the, that's found the classic footage? movie trope? They if found the bodies the are shown, they're not dead. All right, exactly. that's true. I mean, that's some. How do you think Marvel uh, gets away with all them teases? I was going to say, that's some uh, Fast Stop. and Furious logic there. Nah, man. That that actually mm -hmm. makes sense. I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. Cameraman never dies because we would have never seen the footage if they did. True. Die. That's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, literally, I literally saw a video of two helicopters colliding <laughs> in air, and I was like, "Wait, how do we get this footage though?" And I, someone must have survived. <laughs> I mean, you don't gotta survive. You can live stream it. It's gonna be up. Mm -hmm. You don't make it. Mm -hmm. Tornado you get chasers. At that point, you said what? Who's the cameraman at that point? The camera. It's already Itself? caught. What is gonna catch? And then who's gonna, who's gonna turn off their live stream? It's like when Snoop Dogg left his live stream on that one time. <laughs> Man, it's a bullshit. That is tragic, man. Sure, y'all remember when that tornado was in Andover last year? You saw motherfuckers just sitting outside. Yep. It's a block away, and they just watching. It's like, go downstairs. Yeah. They was just sitting there watching it like, oh, it's a, it's smoke. I'm like, damn, <laughs> I ain't never seen a tornado. People, mm, wow. That's crazy. Can't Tornadoes in does. Texas. Snow in California. Man. So make sure you pull out your phone when you're out there. <laughs> sounds, like, right. so, sounds like two of the three apocalyptic, <laughs> apocalyptic <laughs> stationary uh, right there. Yeah, we about to get locusts out here. So, <laughs> nah, hell no. No. Nah. Hey, it's something that you mentioned earlier, Sam, and it reminded me because you were talking about, oh, people are thinking like blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But it was something I read. It's also one of those things. It's like 30 to 50 percent of people in the world or whatever don't have inner monologue. Inner monologue. Yeah, with wild. themselves you heard that that's crazy that's yeah. crazy to me yeah. too that's like <clears throat> you guys do that too yeah wait that means oh, yeah, of course. one statistically there's one person in this room who doesn't have an inner monologue Man. what i Mine. miss kyle mine's going right now who who's your your inner voice pretty much it don't sound like it do it out in the wild so it, <laughs> but you got a different voice yeah who you got uh rob from comics explain yeah, okay. Hey. Every time I hear myself talking, love Rob from Comic Podcast. Mm -hmm. I always think I sound like some drunk uncle. <laughs> well, like, like my mouth is full of drunk like <laughs> food or something. We're well, talking about your inner eyes. voice. Who's your Who's your inner voice? My inner voice is like, like, like you. Yeah, my inner you voice. and Jovi talking. Yeah. Oh, no, I've seen an episode. Weird. Weird. I got I got a feeling Kyle's is like Louis Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was spitting skittles out. <laughs> Get a two piece with a thigh and a. Uh, is that yours? No, I'm talking about him. Oh. Man, my inner voice is smooth. He cool. <laughs> oh, he got Stefan Arquette. <laughs> <That's Kyron. laughs> no, he got Kyron. Yeah, yeah. Who's yours? Uh, I, I, 
I you was, don't got one. I was fucked up. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got one. I don't have another voice, you know. But in their monologue, it's just me. It's just you. It's just me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Who else y'all got? Who you got? Me and some other dude. I don't know who he is. You know but who it is? That, that sounds like schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I wish kid, mine kid. was Brett, man. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Brett's ain't Brett's. <laughs> you know. Brett's, Brett's is Brettel. <laughs> Hello. That's Brett's true. is like some British fucking like you evil already genius. Know. <laughs> you already know. That's that's very interesting. His idea of classy. But no, man, could you imagine you just wake up and say, uh, I guess I better go and brush my teeth and <laughs> drain the old snaky. Yeah. <laughs> I think mine would be Midwest. Yeah, because mm, yeah. y'all just <laughs> no, because it's like he's the one with the ego, and I'm just I'm you're just the normal one. Degular, but it is, it is different. He said regular. We've had this. Is that what you want to call it? No, I mean, I've had conversations on Facebook like 10, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. like yeah. people, you know, whatever. And, and it wasn't know. you weren't in control on that one. He's like, no, I just made a, I just mother made mother. a I just made a post and like someone was like, Oh, you trying to be T I versus T I P but they know. I know who you're talking about too. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. I'll tell so, you off here. We'll start with and, I'm, and I'm, ends with it. I'm pretty sure everyone listening right now like, man, them niggas is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, not at all. Everybody, everybody talking about it. They the niggas ain't got inner monologues. So. <laughs> yeah. no, it, it, it just it, sound it, like uh, <laughs> a record before it's about to start. <laughs> 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 no, and it can even be, it be something stupid or I'll just be thinking to myself or whatever and it'll be in Rob's way for like, yeah, John's kind of a dumbass whenever he's at work. <laughs> so he doesn't really know what he's doing here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you talking to yourself in third person in your head? I mean, not like seriously. The Rock? <laughs> Look, Jonathan doesn't have to answer questions to you. No, he, he just talked to himself third person like me to me. <laughs> me, to me. <laughs> That's the best song ever. Uh, Take that rubber yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever change the inner monologue voice though? Like yes. I do a lot of voice impressions. So like sometimes in my head I got that Mufasa <laughs> Lion King voice. It'd be like, You will go and make a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you got to. Now I am starting to think y'all niggas <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, I don't yeah. sit there and narrate my life, bro. Uh, you missing out. Talk right? like James Earl Jones. <laughs> you missing out. I mean, <laughs> Sam over there got a perfect narrating voice. He got to be narrating his life over there. <laughs> but uh, it's smoother in my head. Have you <laughs> ever tried whispering in your head? Yeah. Oh, Why? Like Ying Twins or David <laughs> Banner. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't whisper in your head. You can't no. get louder in your head. I'd be mad. No, you can't whisper in your head. You know why? Do it. Sometimes I'll do some shit and then there's this little futures in the back of my head and it says, sensational. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be mad if I was whispering myself in the head. You know, I, I wouldn't be able to hear. To no, you can't. I mean, no, you can't. I know you can't. I would be mad. Would to I would be mad because I would tell myself to speak up, Damn it, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, huh? <laughs> what is yeah, that? Y'all all crazy. <laughs> you crazy. I, I, I do I when I mess I was up. I crazy would hear. <laughs> when I mess up, I'll be like, Fine. You right yeah. head. Why did you ever think you was the crazy one? I I thought I, I the thought the wildest thing I've ever seen one. you do is ball out at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day. Yeah, bro, he was trying to get them Funko Pops. <laughs> Shoot, no. Okay, I'm well. gonna go to the NBA on this one. I saw this post. We can talk about this guy. He's he's hot right now. It was Ja Morant. Man, oh man, he's doing his best. Right. Ja Wick. Ja Morant is gonna be uh, uh, the first NBA player to make it out of the NBA. <laughs> I was like, that's an accomplishment, man. Hey, how do you make it out the NBA? Yeah, he's trying. Bro, he's, he's just doing. Far, I mean, bro. He's doing it, it, it ain't like his events ain't even spaced out. It's like <laughs> back to back, like yeah. meet to meet. What is he doing? <laughs> what doing is he doing? He got accused like him and his uh, entourage got accused of like pointing guns with lasers at the Pacers, yeah, at the Pacers <laughs> staff or players. That was the first one. Then the second one. He was playing a pickup game with a 17 year old at his uh crib. Oh yeah. And yeah. then he ended up like punching him Man. and punching him hella Rock times and shit. went in the house and grabbed his gun mm -hmm. and came out and flashed it on him or something. Yeah. I see. <laughs> and then <laughs> the, oh, my bad. Yeah, he, got a, he got a lot. <laughs> then the third one after they lost to the Nuggets, 
Apparently he was in a nightclub, but I don't really know. Mm -hmm. And he was just like flashing his gun on IG Live. Yeah, that's so, the reason. So he suspended. And then last year or whatever, or maybe it was a few years, I don't know. But uh, what his mom went to the finish line or some shit. Oh, like, with the mom. <laughs> the yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they was gonna beat up or uh, something happened between his mom and somebody working there or whatever. And um. She called him and he showed up with nine other niggas or whatever. And they was getting ready to beat the dude up. And they was like, all right, they got asked to leave by security. And then they're like, all right, we're going to try to find out when he gets off of work. And I was like, it ain't that all serious. Right. So I'm not familiar with this player, but is he a top scorer? Is he a rookie? Is he, no, has he's he been in the rookie. league for a he's minute? Like, he's, he's a Midwest he can, He's He's <laughs> relatively fresh, but he's not a rookie. I mean, he can potentially be like... The face of the new generation. I was going to say, that's the thing that's like saddens me about this is the fact that like, OK, so I, I've talked before about how I feel like Giannis Antetokounmpo could have been like one of the hottest motherfuckers if he wasn't on the fucking uh, on Minnesota, mm -hmm. Milwaukee or Milwaukee. But uh, my issue is that John Morant, this motherfucker is he can dominate, mm -hmm. but he's with the Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. the he's Grizzlies like on a good team. As far as like acrobatics and defying gravity, if Michael Jordan was six two, it would be him. Mm -hmm. Like he pops off. He invented the gritty. And now <laughs> Did he really? Yes. And now he's and now he's NBA dumb boy. <laughs> I just figured, I, I just think he got too <laughs> too famous, too fast, and given too much money too soon. So yeah. now it's just like that was I think shot. I think it's the I think it's the music too. Yeah. Is it? Because he probably do listen to NBA Young Boy. <laughs> that is, awesome. He's I mean, only what, like 23 years old? Does he legally own a gun? Probably, but it's I mean, irrelevant. I thought yeah, that was kind of stupid that he got in trouble for flashing a gun on IG or whatever. It's kind of like that. It's like yeah, you're that, not. If he did it at home, that, yeah. it's because you can, in what, Colorado, you can have a firearm in a public facility. Mm -hmm. but, but so if, that's what the issue is. But if you're pulling it out on staff and fucking a 17 year old and all this shit. Hey, well, that nigga better get there ain't no videos of that. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> Look, I'm just you saying. You gotta put some hair on his chest. <laughs> See, I saw just somebody saying. hit him with the eight mile disc there. They were. Uh, they exposed like his real life. They showed him when he was like younger. They're like he grew up with both his parents went to private school. I don't know why he <laughs> doing this. They're like halfway crook. Yeah, it's like I he mean, just showing out, show out. Sometimes these niggas just go crazy when you give them some money. Look at that nigga dancing right there, acting like bananas is all he's getting paid in. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, we done. All right. Uh, God damn it. Well, you know, uh, let's just hope you know this young buck you know gets back on track and. <laughs> You know, comes back the next the the, the game that he's allowed to come back, ready to play. Yeah, he's right. gonna come back. You know, he he he'll make the NBA a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll all be cool. I know. Only reason Kyrie's getting all this shit is because he's he's been around. Yeah, John Morant's just starting. NBA just organized slavery anyway. True. <laughs> he'll come back next but season. Organized slavery. <laughs> Slaver. <laughs> <laughs> He'll come back next season with an apology video talking about, I think we need to get guns out. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. That's so too stupid. much money to, to miss out on yeah. over some stupid stuff. It is what it is. But um, on to some other news, some pressing stuff, man. Um, you know, in, in case that you thought that Churches were going out of out of hand. Oh shit! I'm here to tell you guys some I truth. This old uh, <laughs> fucking narc. <laughs> if you are in the right south things. and you got a church for sale, oh, then you can holler at this guy because he already sold one. Mm. Where y'all at? Y'all want to turn up to revolution? I don't uh, know. Do you want a revolution? You're the wrong. Person. Do you want a revolution? Why are we letting this bit go as long as it's going right now? Because y'all can't stop me. So All right, so basically. Obviously we can't. That's what happens when we miss this episode. Yeah, I come back in with that. Bow! So anyway, being that it's, you know, it Florida. I rate in the church. Right? Come <laughs> on, like, man. Like bumping my elbow. Come on, man. You want a oh, revolution? Man. Give yeah, me a whoop whoop. Couch was moving. <laughs> I thought he was having one of those Wichita earthquakes again. <laughs> oh, I'm not that fat. Nah, anyways, Florida man. Okay. Florida man. Florida man. Was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Now, this pastor right here right. finangled the church, of and course. he became the sole owner of this church right here. Preaching. Right. 
And you know what he did with his church? What he do? He sold that church for drug money. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why would Won't you do, do that? It? Why would you do that? <laughs> you you say, just, won't he do? <laughs> <laughs> you could just take the collection plate. I mean, <laughs> you already got that. I mean, you got a you got a, a, a long streak nah. of like income. Nah, you gonna sell the whole damn truck? Those are crumbs, man. He wanted the whole bakery. All right, he he wanted his own cocaine farm. That's mm, what he wanted. I mean, apparently he's got to get it. <laughs> no, <laughs> betcha he stripped it of all the copper before he did <laughs> it too. I mean, possibly, but it's super. Oh I mean, yeah. Wait, how big was the church? Big enough to where it gets six hundred grand. Oh, okay. Yeah. For drug money. I know a profession I'm getting into. Yeah. Just twenty four. Start flipping churches. God damn right. <laughs> For the Lord. It's like oh, a TLC yes. show. <laughs> We're here to flip churches. this church. <laughs> All right, well, I guess you guys have no reaction to that. I didn't uh, hear about super it. Super so. fucking dry. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear I didn't about it. Either. Jump in, you know. That, that, that make, sounds, make some jokey jokes or whatever. We got a show to do here. That, that sounds kind of wild, but like. They don't want to make jokes about the Lord. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, the first question that came to my head was, the drugs legal? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> if they were in Oregon, yeah. Because what I do with my money is my business. So here's my it's question. not his church. Here's my, what kind of drug? I don't know. Because if he sold the church for angel dust, no. that'd be funny as <laughs> hell. <laughs> no, he bought uh, I see what you did. he bought meth, uh, MDMA, and weed or he whatever. Bought, he had uh, to get some Mary. He bought yeah. the devil's yeah. lettuce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> but he just wanted to get high enough to touch he the head. Trading heavens. God's <laughs> house for the devil's lettuce. So he, wait, wait. So you said it wasn't his church to sell? It, it, it wasn't necessarily his. He forged some documents to pretty much make him the sole owner of the church, and then he flip that bitch. Did mm-hmm. it get notarized? It sounded like it must have been super easy to do. Barely inconvenience. I mean, you should, you should flip this church. <laughs> get us some yeah. podcast money. Nah, I know the pastor that goes here. He's a good man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to flip this church. <laughs> I don't. But we don't record in the church, guys. We yeah, record right. in our, yeah. our parents' basements. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Mom, are the pizza rolls done? <laughs> uh, what he says, we need to like on camera have somebody walk in with pizza rolls. <laughs> hey, one day, <laughs> looking like Dexter's mom. Don't song. worry, one day. Nah, we need the the mayor's woman from oh uh, Miss Bellum. Yeah, Miss Bellum. Yeah, yeah. Have them both walking in here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want the pizza rolls no more. <laughs> you want them rolls? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we gotta take a quick commercial break. <laughs> And we're back to the show. Um, yeah, I had a pee pee, so I had to go. Yeah. All right, where we at? Did everything come out like you planned it to? Shut up, Kyle. UAG. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> I got anything got anything popping in the streets? You know, What's the list? Yeah, what I got? I mean, I did see this headline. They were they were talking about that uh, LeBron deserves a statue in L.A. And I was curious why? what you guys thought about that because I was just like, why L.A.? Well, hold on. How many times has he won in L.A.? One. Then he don't deserve <laughs> right. yeah. I was like, why does <laughs> he, he deserve a, a statue in L.A.? They, they can make one, but it's like right next to the Kobe statue. It's just like yay big and whatnot. Kobe's just like yay big. Uh, Kobe don't even got a statue. Like, he didn't yeah, that's, really? what I was gonna, that's what That was my counter argument. I was like, why doesn't Kobe have a statue in L.A.? I figured he would he by deserve. now. It's not time. It's not right. time? It's not time. Okay, they're too busy making their... Shaq just got a statue. That <laughs> terrible <laughs> Martin Luther King statue. And <laughs> Martin Luther oh, King. Dookie Law. With the, the hug. The yeah, like yeah. someone was getting eaten out in the right. middle of the fucking... Well, you said Shaq has a statue in yeah, LA? He just got a statue yeah, unveiled just... not too long ago. Mm, how yeah. tall is it? I don't know. What if it was like 5'8"? <laughs> <laughs> Little kids ducking on it. Huh. Plaque says larger than life. <laughs> so so how how good do you have to be to deserve a statue? How does Rocky Balboa have a statue? <laughs> he's not even a real person. Hey, because he he's done a lot for the city of hey, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. He's not even a real person. He's, that's he's how bad he is. He's a real person. He's <laughs> Paul based, Bunyan done did enough based, for America. He's based off a real person. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, he, he is. is. Rocky? Rocky Marciano, right? Yeah. Who? Rocky Marciano. The whole thing you was made based that off name of, up. The whole Rocky <laughs> thing was based off of a real fighter and Muhammad Ali. Even the robot? <laughs> what? The robot's real Happy too? Happy birthday, Ali 4. <laughs> you talking about real steel? <laughs> no, that part that was, was the not real. That's the movie. <laughs> uh, I didn't know Rocky was based off a real person. Yes. yes. Well, was now he, you know. Was he beating Jinx me? Soda? Was he beating meat in lockers and stuff? Yes. I mean, but not in the way you're thinking. Every story is inspired by something. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. cocaine bear. 
<laughs> oh my god how was that movie what a segue uh, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it but you know like I said I enjoyed it it was dumb it was dumb all the way through it's consistent dumb and I appreciate that as expected you know mm-hmm. but of course you know what you're getting when it's cocaine bear right on like you, it's it's turn brain off and enjoy <laughs> and, but but you won't go see the fast movies no with... so you're admitting that it's no I'm, no I'm not admitting nothing you, you guys just... call it dumb movie you call it you call it a dumb movie so if, if you like like no, see your dumb they're movies trying, and they're go trying see. to be serious. They're trying to be serious no. with their family shit. Are they? You know? I don't know. Hey, man, you be careful, Midwest. Because Cocaine Bear could also become a dumb franchise. I mean, uh, yeah, we're going to get, co- we're gonna get Cocaine movies. Bear 2. I heard it was, it was, I heard was, it was it? Adderall Alligator. <laughs> I thought it was Meth Gator. That's the same thing. Yeah. Adderall and Meth are the same thing. Heroin Wally Condor. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? Heroin Condor. No. <laughs> we got to have one that flies, man. What about kangaroo crack? <laughs> I mean, Jack. Yo, crack, yo. Crack kangaroo. Ecstasy elephant. Hey, <laughs> Trying hey. to penetrate everybody. Yeah. I don't like this monster That's animal like universe that. is going. Yeah, Adderall. What starts with an A? Fucking anteater. anteater. <laughs> nah, what's that bird? Kilo koala bear. Albacore. Oh, Albacore. Can we get an oxycone yeah. on that octopus? Oxycone on that. <laughs> Y'all know that one, uh, there was a drug in, in uh, Russia. <laughs> it was a drug in Russia, crocodile. Some crocodile, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> See, this would be the worst, like, fucked up Sesame Street <laughs> universe ever. <laughs> Weed walrus. <laughs> codeine, coyote. Of course, you mentioned codeine. DMT, dingo. <laughs> <laughs> Fitting off <all> ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want that ball. <laughs> too soon, Kyle. Too soon. Like, what? Oh, shit. oh, we can't make you no words. <laughs> Mm. Or wait, hold on. What was the heroin? Condor. Heroin honey badger would might be. <laughs> the ayahuasca <laughs> iguana. <laughs> Why do we just know so many drugs, guys? Like everyone's listening, like, man, what's wrong with these people? PCP <laughs> Python. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a druggy <laughs> animal, <laughs> drop it in the comments. <laughs> I like PCP platypus. <laughs> That's <Man>. awesome. <laughs> mm, Don't go in the water. You need to get Dr. Doofenshmirtz in on that one. <laughs> Oh my God. That's that's how it's going in, and you know, like the the um, end game kind of deal. It's all gonna come down with Doctor Doolittle at the center of it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to talk them out of their cat. addictions. Uh, oh, I, I, I hate you guys. So it's so you said it's a dumb movie. Mm-hmm. Turn your brain off. Yeah. Was that the? Um, it was a, a woman director. Was it? Yeah. I didn't even pay attention. Mm-hmm. To that. I saw the two words, cocaine bear, and I was sold. Yeah. That's all it took. Yep. Bro. Yeah. Now I've been hearing about that fucking um, Winnie the Pooh, win. and <laughs> yeah. I heard that is like uber trash. I heard Absolutely. it's like super yeah. graphic too. Yeah, and so. and and I because I, I Wikipedia that plot, and I read <laughs> this that uh, will not watch the movie. Nah, if, if <laughs> I, they couldn't even film it's the like original script because it was so crazy. Nah, yeah. I read that it legit is like Winnie the Pooh. Like yeah. it's not a person in a mask. It legit is. Like Christopher Robbins, legit in the movie. Eeyore le- is legit in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Tigger, Piglet, no, they're actually the actual characters. Yeah, huh. yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess they would all go in the public domain at the same time. So yeah, yeah. You can use but all I thought, I, I think people thought it was just some guy dressed as Pig. No, it no, legit man. is Winnie the Pooh. It's Winnie the Pooh. And they're planning on building a universe around it. Jesus Christ. Why did Why? every fucking movie because in the universe, universe bro. franchise? Exactly. You I know how many Sharknados we have? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So they're going to build a whole franchise, and I think it's getting a sequel, too, with a bigger budget. Why don't they do, like, Gator Typhoon or something like that, you know? Never mm-hmm. Change it up. Right. Really quick, I know that nobody listening can hear it, but I love that, like, they're trying to drown us out <laughs> by just playing their music as loud as they Maybe. can. Maybe. They're like, y'all are laughing too much. They're fighting, fighting our debauchery with I can't gospel. focus on Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, it, won't be happy. it won't be like this for too long, guys. I just... Letting y'all know, but but like you were saying, they they're gonna have a, a sequel to uh, Cocaine Bear. Uh, no, to the, the Winnie the, the, Winnie Pooh, the Pooh. They should have. Right. A, did the Cocaine Bear op- end with a sequel? Like, so how you on Cocaine? Like bear? Uh, kind of. I mean, the bear is still intact. Mm. So, did they, you see the bear die? No, <laughs> exactly. Mm. We don't see a body. You know the rules. Yeah. The, the real just, question just is like Scarface. Will Cocaine Bear be in the MCU now? 
I would hope. Man. Takes down a uh, Kang. Be just beats, just <laughs> fucking roughs him up with it. <laughs> Kang tries to climb up a tree real quick. <laughs> yeah, because why would you climb up a tree against the bear? Bears can climb trees, Stupid y'all. bitch. Exactly. This one is a scene in there. They talk about that. Damn. But um, uh, we'll leave that on the wraps because we know all of our audience is about to run out and go watch Cocaine Bear. Now. Of course, of so. course. Is this is this episode sponsored by Cocaine Bear? No, it's just sponsored by Cocaine. We're gonna. <laughs> It's, no, it's kind of crazy like you saying that everybody knows that bears uh climb trees and shit mm-hmm. i learned that from from listening to the joe rogan podcast wait really <clears throat> i did yeah you learned something from him you know i mean he'll he would usually have like hunters on and everything and they talk about grizzlies and shit and like i find the name or hunter no oh. no Bro, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so he would sometimes have hunters there and on, and uh, they'd be in like bear country and all that shit, and yeah, they'd be yeah. always talking about like grizzly bears, and, and those are fucking frightening as like animals. Like, yeah. that's that's crazy. That's one of one things I'm scared of. But um, yeah, man, it's, grizzly bears will fuck you up. And yeah, they climb trees. There's that there's that rule when it's like when it comes to bears, like if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. Because mm. like with black bears, you can oh, make a bunch okay. of noise and uh, bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> they were moving into your neighborhood, or, yeah. right? You know, yeah. right? Trying to stink up the place. Is that really a thing? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can fight a black bear. You, well, you're supposed you to make like noise, look big. And yeah, yeah. Like that. make yourself real big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, look and, big. You scream un- unless it's like it takes me a couple of jerks before I can look big. Oh, I got you. Well, if you well, if you go ahead and pop in some blue Jew, then. No, nah. but uh, just listening to that, it it was pretty informative. And speaking of Joe Rogan, you guys hear about his family beef? Wait, what? Mm-mm. No yeah, family man. beef? Yeah, Joe Rogan got beef with his family. Like yeah, I guess beef with everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nah, it was it, it it popped up recently or whatever. I guess I don't know how long ago he was talking about his dad, like his real dad. And he's always like, yeah, my dad was a piece of shit. He's very abusive and yada 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 yada. And so recently, his dad is like, I don't know how fucking old, but he's old as shit. And he's like sitting at a, at a kitchen table, and I think like his daughter or some shit like there is sitting next to him. And he's all like, Joey, you're a piece of shit, and you never <laughs> talk to me, and you're lying, and come sit down at the table. <laughs> Then the rest of his family, like I don't know who these people are to him, but his family, it, yeah. But I don't know if it's his brother, if it's his uncle, cousin, whatever the fuck. But one of the guys, I guess, I don't know. They're very cliche Italian, almost, because he's all like, "You say that we're crazy Italians and everything. Why don't you come and sit down at this table right here?" You know, and and, and like his sister's like, "Yeah, you didn't get to grow up with this great man. He was great and yada yada yada." But I know a lot of things, Joey, and it's a Pandora's box and if I open it up it'll get real bad for you and <laughs> I'm yeah, like I send them all. man they might as well do a diss track I mean like what? basically yeah. and then like I was like man it's fucking family is crazy I would stay away from you broke ass oh, niggas man. too if I was Joe Rogan <laughs> TLC was like oh yeah bring that show here boy <laughs> Rogan's house <laughs> <Exactly>. Rogan's house <laughs> like, like that's what they were saying in the, in the comments too there's like you could tell that like if somebody was looking at this or if he was looking at that he would probably build like a whole like okay I'm gonna you know reconnect with my family and all this stuff and then we're all gonna get paid and yada 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 exactly. and I was like that's crazy of course fun. would you yeah. capitalize off your family if they was crazy hell yeah no nope. Exactly. You uh-huh. wouldn't? No, keep them niggas away from me. <laughs> I already don't show up to family gatherings. You don't, so. you don't know about you don't know about making money, Jonathan. No, I'm good. Is. This is the only time he leaves the house other than work. Hey, hey, Alex, if you capitalize off your family, I'll play Jonathan. Cool. I'll be practicing. Okay. You don't give him right. the worst line. I'll be show practicing. Me, show me your best job. Every episode, he's gonna slip on up in that deal. Hey, what's his line, Sam? What's his favorite line? You see, this is what I was about to say. If anybody's gonna play Jonathan, you right. You right. Go ahead. Don't fucking know any you Jonathan been, or You've been practicing. <laughs> Jonathan or I've seen you. I've seen him when Jonathan's not around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, and do it. Yeah. All you gotta do is just like you know, you have a slight disagreement and then just be quiet for the whole episode. That's all you gotta no, do. No, that's new yeah. Jonathan. Not, that's not old. We're talking old Jonathan. What, who do you think new you're talking Jonathan to? A little bit more sure. That's half the battle. <laughs> Listen, the guy who will let me get jumped in middle school. <laughs> hey, I was listening. That was funny. 
That's what I mean? Why what? did you let him get jumped in middle It was his school? birthday. Mm-hmm. See? He didn't he didn't he didn't mention that. I did mention that. Suck ass nigga leaving out uh, facts. No, you didn't. I did mention no, that. No, you did. I will shut up. <laughs> I don't remember you recording. Right. He didn't mention that. Was that. Advocate. He I, don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't <laughs> remember you <laughs> saying that. It don't matter. <laughs> See? No, right? it does matter. Because you don't matter. I don't feel bad for it. Exactly. That's that's a key part of the story, Alex. No, you left out. Why they were just jumping me over here by the You don't for us. You don't jump. Somebody, oh, no, no. <laughs> if it's your birthday, sir, <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Now, right. now, now, mind you, we didn't really know them, know them because it was summer school. So, <laughs> but we knew them well enough that uh, that week or whatever. But uh, still, they was giving this nigga the business. He I was made me a fucking like, target. <laughs> you had it coming. <laughs> what did I do? Everything. <laughs> yeah, everything. everything. I ain't been, a, been a scoundrel your whole life. I, like, so. I walked. I walked into middle school. It was like the sun was shining. I was like, mm-hmm. oh my god, I'm gonna get my education. And I was like, get him. <laughs> then he ruined it. See, I was like, listen, him. listen here, boys. Go rough him up. He just admitted he sent the goons. That's yeah, right. He's been an underlord uh, boss. Y'all since, did your schoolwork during school days and hours. Y'all wouldn't have to go to Sorry, Kyle. We were too busy chasing pussy while you were playing, <laughs> you know, Pokemon Go. Yeah. All right. kids smoke. If I was playing Pokemon Go in middle school, I was way ahead of my time. Shut up. That's not what I meant. Yeah, stupid. Speaking of Pokemon, man, sh- shut up. <laughs> I don't think we mentioned. Did we mention, ever mention that Ash Ketchum were finally retired? Yeah, man. He finally, you know, got the big one. He's like, the hardest working 10 year old exactly. ever. Yeah, he I finally got to retire. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they starting up with a whole new series. It's disgusting. Really? It's yeah. like that? Is it? It's disgusting. Why? So they should keep it going. They're well, ruining my childhood. Ash, with Ash's you, remaining you never watched 10 year old in your life, Jonathan. What are you talking about? You don't know. I mm. just wish that instead of having Saturday another Pikachu, cartoon. they would have had a different yeah. fucking Pokemon. Saturday morning cartoon. It'll never. It, it won't happen. Pikachu is the most popular, but po- it's not even the same Pikachu. Yeah, but it's, it's a different it's Pikachu. It's popular. I don't give a fuck. Another Pokemon same? could be popular too if they just decided to focus on another Pokemon. What, what Pokemon would you make popular? Bro. Charmander, Seal. <laughs> no, not what. <laughs> I think they should just make seal. <laughs> Whatever. No, so I want to hear your answer, uh, Sam. Batman. I want to hear. I want to hear your answer. Uh, exactly. Think you about, don't know. Think about all the buildup that could happen <laughs> if they had Eevee be the fucking Pokemon. Eevee is the number two mm-hmm. second and, popular. And, and then you're sitting there wondering. I wonder which one eventually they're gonna evolve this Eevee. And then you. And, and then they introduce a new one. At the end of the season, you right. know why? New evolution. You know why Evie doesn't get the front, you know, cover of why? all the magazines? It's too sexy. Yeah, exactly. Rule thirty four. <laughs> exactly. He answered it for me. He's, Evie is too sexy. We all knew and it. And I'm not being a weirdo, <laughs> yeah, but come you are. on now, Embracing. it can evolve into anything. Rule any stone? thirty four. Exactly. Sorry. Rule thirty four. And hey man, if you're gonna bring up rule thirty four. <laughs> We need to talk about Ditto. (laughs) Nah, man. Every evolution is in Rule 34. It's weird. Because Ditto can be anything in anybody. Evie is at Evie is at like uh fucking like hook around the corner just like what are you be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's also ditto too though but but like Evie like yeah they're really listening now like man y'all got problems <laughs> <It's good. laughs> if, nah, if, nah. if they're like fans of this show and haven't said that like yeah, eighteen thousand yeah. times yeah, yeah but you yeah, know what you're here that's for that's definitely why Evie's not the most popular because there's too many weirdos out I there. think it'd be funny if they tied it back to Ash's journey and Mr Mime was there <laughs> Mr. Mom is Ash's daddy. Yeah, exactly. That's what exactly. I'm saying. Well, yeah, y'all don't what? know about that. That's a deep cut. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't even want to know. You don't know about exactly. that. Don't know about I'm, just that. Gonna say, I'm just gonna say true. Mr. Mime been groping up Ash's mom mm-hmm. since uh, since he uh, <laughs> season four, one <laughs> or whatever. I guess I'm just saying. All right, uh, you guys want a little visual? I mean, we talked about it a little bit earlier, and I think Tim brought it up: uh, the fact that we are going towards idiocracy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. Have you guys? I know you haven't. It's a rhetorical question. Have you guys ever heard of bubble bull soccer? 
Bubble um, Bowl Soccer. Yes. No, oh, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen oh. that. You see that? Yes. So, yeah. there's a little like somewhere in Mexico. No, it's no. not in Mexico. It's like. It's in Texaco. No, Wyoming, no, boy. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. But they're, no, they're, they're dr- dressed in giant bubble boy bubbles. Yeah, they got. And and if they're at a rodeo, mm-hmm. I think it's like halftime. Um, some shit like that. You said rodeo? Mm-hmm. My bad. I'm sometimes uncultured. Yeah. Right. Uh, but a um, bowl comes out. Yeah. And just. They're they're sort of playing soccer, and uh, yeah, man, they're just running across the field. They're trying to kick the ball to the other side while getting bashed by a bull. Hey, and uh, if they they kick the ball to the fence, they get fifty points. And if they get hit really Why hard by the bull, they get fifty points. I mean, that is this is real America right here. Yes, you know, make it's sure just... you look this shit up so you can see what we're talking about. <laughs> bubble bubble bull soccer. Good God. I, at this point, yeah, that 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 guy's not getting up. No, what he's is getting that up. bubble made from? <laughs> it's like those big inflatable things or whatever. Yeah, yeah the there was like, there was a video of this a swimming pool. There was a video of this guy who was like sitting in the middle of the street and a car comes by and just boom, hits yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. he goes straight <laughs> in the tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. I, I think it's a wrap for humanity, man. No, like, we no, done, nah, bro. This we, is we could have done just Rocket League in real life. <laughs> I was <laughs> about to say. Done. Rocket it's, League better be listening. There is a there, there is a real life Rocket League. Man. I saw the video. It was one car versus another car. Oh, wow. I'm disappointed. Man. I but, mean, when, um, when we started doing like demolition derbies, I mean, we knew where we were going. Bro, they got the fucking the what's his name, the fucking rodeo cowboy out there too. Yeah, they got it all. You know what happened, right? What? So what? the pandemic made us all dumb. <laughs> we we were we were on the sun. We were on the verge of curing cancer, mm-hmm. and then COVID came and had made fucking, made everybody. Everybody doing shut the great down. Challenge. Exactly. <laughs> Forgot Fucking about dumb. the great We challenge. all shut down. The scientists went home. <laughs> and the only ones that was out there was the people working on the COVID vaccine. But it all it made us dumb. We sat there all and watched Tiger King for crying out loud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all the Dylan's workers are still smart. They remember life before. But it's like we're all dumb now. And that's what it is. Yeah, we speak, get out of quarantine and we all do <laughs> stupid <hold> stuff. <laughs> what did you learn sick. during pandemic, Gene? Why are we just looking at Tim? Nah, no, well, <laughs> so wait, you're saying that oh, this is all the Democrats' fault then? I, it's got to be. They shut the country down. The yeah, I'm just saying, what did you learn during the pandemic? It was Biden's fault, really. During yeah. the beginning, the middle, learned a lot of shit. What did yeah, anybody the learn during the pandemic? I learned a lot. Did shit. you learn a new skill? Yeah. yeah yes. What did you learn? I learned that I could uh, breed a T-Rex with another T-Rex. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, <clears throat> you was at home. Playing with your dinosaurs. That's right. Oh, man, I read hella books. Mm-hmm. What books did you read? It was called Hella Please Books. Please tell me two books. <laughs> <laughs> hella Books. It was like By a five cool mode. <laughs> <laughs> no. What did you what did you do during the pandemic? Me? Yeah, I'm I'm asking y'all. I read cause... Hella Books. <laughs> Well, you want me to name some? Yes. Yeah, two books. I read the whole Witcher series. I read Nerd. fucking State and Revolution. Mm. I, wrote, I read uh, Tommy. Das Kapital. <laughs> yep. Got me. I read a whole bunch of shit during the pandemic. Okay. All right, motherfucker. So you learned nothing uh, of value if it isn't capitalism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just you apply know. yourself, though. I did apply myself. Mm-hmm. Apply right. yourself. And now we're gonna. Now I'm gonna start a new podcast, <laughs> trying to educate people mm-hmm. on 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 a leftist ideology, on the dangers of. America. But then beyond that, motherfucker, I also learned you can't trust bitches. True. That's something I learned over the pandemic. And that's a valuable life lesson mm-hmm. that you should carry with you forever. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Did Put I it learn? on the whiteboard. Don't trust bitches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I learned that's a whole bunch of one. science shit. I watched everything SciShow had and then moved on to Anton, whatever the fuck his name is, talking about NASA this and NASA that. I learned what? How much I love arguing with people. It's so good. It's fun. It's so good. It's a lot of fun. So fucking good. None of value. No, oh, no. Not <laughs> a lot of value. You can make some money on that. I learned that Hennessy and Enemies makes one hell of a mixture. And even though it's Man. fucked up, girl, I'm still fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's poetic right there. Uh, right. I think that's where <laughs> we... None of value. That's where we... Drake line. That's where we get out of here. <laughs> no. Jonathan, did you... Well, you already said. Tim, was there anything you learned during the pandemic? Man, I learned so much home repair stuff and how to sell and buy a house. Man, mm-hmm. See, look, he's out here flipping stuff. homes. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? Hey, listen, he's just one step away from selling the church. <laughs> exactly. He already got the fresh cut. <laughs> I always gave him twenty dollars when he walked in. <laughs> Wait, Kyle, did, did you, you learn something? No, I admit it. I didn't learn nothing. I mean, I bought a house, but no, I didn't learn nothing during the pandemic. Okay, well, I, I was one of those people getting dumber 
You learned how to be a, a better father. Uh, excuse Aww. me, it's stupider. <laughs> stupid. I'm now, speaking there. of stupid people, um, you guys hear about this L.A. dude that was trying to, you know, start up The Last of Us? Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Cough into like a Subway sandwich? Nah, man, he's showing everybody on TikTok how to cultivate and breed cordyceps. Hell yeah. Ugh. He said, <laughs> "Why? Why do we need that? Because he wants to start, you know, a new pandemic. Okay, shut the shit down. Exactly. Stimulus <laughs> check, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to get us paid, man. Oh, like you, you, you can't imagine. Man. You're just like that fucking down and out and <laughs> bad. That like you're like, bro, I need a stimulus check. <laughs> Let me start a new pandemic. Bro, right? when, when I heard, when I heard, you can lose like." 30 pounds just for having COVID. I was like, hey, it yeah, ain't <laughs> bad. Oh. <laughs> You'd be coughing in your bed, <laughs> playing workout music. <laughs> just with these oh, abs, though. The jam, it, 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 I'm on a ventilator with abs, though. <laughs> so it's just like, it's terrible. That's you gotta, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta weigh your options here. He's like, oh my God. Yeah, if you survive it, <laughs> no, summer bar. No pain, no gain. Yeah, but then hey, you got call COVID me if you don't brain. code. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Terrible. Now you're a real him. But I'm on the beach though with a shirt off. <laughs> no, it's funny that you brought that up, Jonathan. I was reading something today in um, Lincoln County. I forget what state it was, but there are a bunch of Jack Daniels places making an aging whiskey, mm -hmm. and it's causing a fungus that's heat resistant yeah. to go around the whole town. Yeah. It's on people's signs, cars. I saw that shit. One couple suing them because they have a mansion that they use for like weddings and stuff. Mm -hmm. They got to keep power washing it over and over to get it off. Hey, it's coming from Jack Daniels. Coming from Jack Daniels. Scrape like, that off and put it in a shot glass. Mm -hmm. Shoot, lady got you did a drink. it. Lady did it. Took the paint off of her freaking furniture, man. Exactly. And it, it's resistant. Resistant to heat, but it ain't resistant to whiskey. Mm. <laughs> Man, y'all <are> tripping. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? Pay we got to go eventually. You nah, know? not like that. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, that's and it's crazy, you know, because there's so many people that would love for that to happen just so they can be like, ah, I get to finally shoot people and it's okay. Uh, I got and, guns for a reason. And I don't have to go to work. I bet you they have that's a uh, don't tread on me flag too. Probably. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it kind of made me mad though, because I remember a good. You know, friend of ours, uh, where we used to work, mm -hmm. he <laughs> he would have loved for a zombie apocalypse to happen because Dang. he didn't want to go to work. And I'm like, Man, that nigga he wouldn't survive. He wouldn't survive. The first one to get yeah, gout. He got yeah. gout right now. He ain't doing nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, it's like there would be so much more work to do if you had to like rebuild or just survive. And I'm like, you guys are dumb as shit. Right. You know how to make beef jerky? No. Alex do. So no. he's, he's valuable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. right. I'm surviving the apocalypse. He's valuable. So stupid. You know how to farm? I mean, I any of y'all know how to fish? I think Tim knows how to fish. He's valuable. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, you, you, your dad took you fishing, so lucky. <laughs> How are you gonna survive, Kyle? Huh? How you gonna survive? I'm not. I already told y'all. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, he gonna survive. He got yeah. a whole arsenal. He got. He's he got a crossbow. What? He got <laughs> a sword. That's the I mean, yeah, he's, he's surviving. Got, me or him? He got the. Oh, whole, I'm surviving. He got the whole walking. Mm -hmm. dead you started. good at is is producing uh, women. <laughs> so what? Man, I mean, that, 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 that's kind of making valuable. It though. is making you valuable. Come playing. on down to the Crickle <laughs> Emporium. <I got> you. <laughs> You're good at making women. Uh, man, Let me ask y'all this though: If the zombie apocalypse happened, uh -huh. where would you try to go to hole up? No, See, we can't let people know that. See, initially, like back in the day, I would always say Walmart because that's but that's where everybody's gonna go. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I'd probably go somewhere like uh, Food for Less because nobody can go there anyway. So, <laughs> nigga, good luck. That's like finding a Twinkie truck. Yeah, so it's hard to stay outside. Well hidden. If you don't want to stay hidden, go to the library. True. Yeah. Well, nobody no, going the there. Will probably be there. So don't go, don't go to the, the library. library. Right, you gonna be there? It's, it's a glass building. <laughs> it's uh, not that lab library. The other one. Nah. The new one. Yeah. Uh, so zombies walking around that one. Nah, I'm, I'm going to church, bro, and I'm starting to pray. I'm just going to sit there, you and did. read my Bible, <laughs> you, you uh, did. get your life right with Christ before you get, go. You get bit in your ass. Yeah, you already know. Kyle gonna live off I them communion crackers. If, if a zombie bit me in my booty, <laughs> would you suck the venom out? Definitely. I got, got you, fam. Off cheek. <laughs> oh, There's no cheeks to go around. <laughs> All right. What a crazy question, though. If a zombie bit my dick, would you suck the venom out? <laughs> or let you die? Well, so, Sam. Uh, 
Oh, get the venom out. That's a wrap. <laughs> this is a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to cut it off before it spreads through your body. <laughs> you got a couple of inches. That's a few minutes. You know, now I see Kyle's point. He stops talking about dicks, and now y'all start doing I it. Did, yeah, I did stop. It was all y'all this time. You see, guys? It was y'all. <laughs> you we see? almost made it a whole episode. <laughs> yeah. a no, we exactly. didn't. I just had to ruin it. Nah, we didn't. It's all right. So, <clears throat> can we can we talk about how how corny Chris Rock is? It's super uh, corny. We can finish off with Chris Rock. Yeah, I, don't I mean, think it's corny, corny, but no, he definitely. I would definitely like, giggles, like I would definitely like to hear you guys' perspective. I mean, he had all the time to work on the material, but it fell kind of flat. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I, I mean, there I, was I, there was moments you might have a little more than a chuckle, but. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I disagree. I'm going to start off. Okay. I did not watch it. Yeah, I didn't either. The reason I'm calling him corny is the fact that he's still talking about this shit. Like, it happened. And. Well, it's because it's about to be the one year anniversary. Yeah, it's last year. You know. He's going to get. I mean, he never spoke about it. Yeah, he never spoke about it. Because he was waiting to speak about it when he was going to get paid off. Look, there's only. You have a window where you can really. Where you probably should be speaking about something. That's like if we started talking about stuff that was last year trying to make it relevant today. It's just not. And the fact that from what I heard from what him talking and everything, he's like calling Will and or maybe whatever, calling bitches and all this stuff. Or he's talking like big shit while he's on stage a year later. And it's like, OK, that's that's kind of corny. A little bit. Yeah. I think you got to watch it. Yeah, it sounds like you team Will yeah, Smith you, right now. You got to watch I've it. I've been Will Smith. Mm-hmm. Nah. Yeah. I mean, I, like, I mean, Will Smith's one of my favorite actors, but mm-hmm. at the same time, he was wrong. You got to hear Chris's perspective. The one what do you say? Oh my best! No, go watch it. No, I'm like I'm not gonna watch it. Ooh, the one thing I will say is like you will no say. No pun intended. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I think shit like this is always it brings out the most weird fucking takes on like social media, mm-hmm. especially Twitter. Like I would agree that uh, Chris Rock <laughs> shit is like in this particular special a little bit corny, but with that being said. It brings out these weirdos who are like, Chris Rock was never funny. Mm-hmm. Also, neither was Eddie Murphy or am I like, bro, what? What? Yeah, Shut yeah, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah. Like, what? There's probably yeah. some Gen Zoomers. X Man, there's some Zoomers out there. <laughs> Definitely. Talk about, oh, none yeah, of them were funny. Justin Clyborne was the best comedian ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, man, I... I I think it was cool because it, it was live. And so, like, when you watch a pre-recorded stand-up special, it's probably going to be hit after hit after hit. They're probably going to edit out the, the jokes that kind of fell flat. But the fact that it was live, you, you don't have time to, you know, edit out the jokes that don't really fly over that well. So I, I think he was cool with doing that. Uh, I think uh, I think it was a perfect time for him because this was like the first major thing he's done since the slap, and yeah, it took a whole year. And I think I think it was perfect because we were sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting to hear from him. Yeah, and we finally hear from him. And it's like he says everything that you kind of want him to say. He's, but no, it's just like something happened to me, and the whole world speaks on it, and I'm not ready to speak on it. Yeah. So when I'm ready to speak on something that's happened in my life, mm-hmm. you know, I can even... somebody be like, oh, it's too late. Oh, you should have said something. I'm like, it's like him being a businessman. It's like, exactly. if he's going to get talked about and embarrassed in front of the whole world, he might as well wait till the perfect time exactly. to make money off on of his it terms. while doing it. And, that's and I also think the way, if you if you go back and watch it, it's the way he framed it and pitched it and just like, well then, he, he told a good story behind it and like, you can really, he basically said what everyone was thinking. Like, out of all the people Will Smith could have slapped, he picked uh, yeah, the comedian he was, Chris Rock. Because he's been he was the Will main Smith's one friend. running his mouth. You said what? That's because he's the main one that's been running well, his mouth. No, he was saying it started yeah. because of Jada. Yeah. <laughs> how she said that he should have quit his job as a host because Will didn't get nominated. Yeah, Jada started it. If you, so if you listen like, to the story, Jada started it. What does he it? have to do with that? Like, why do I have to quit my job because your husband didn't get nominated? Exactly. So she, she it's already justified. initiated it. It's, it's not justified. Look. He's a comedian, but comedians are the ones that are out there talking. And, and and there's always the saying that there's free speech, but you have to accept the consequences of what come after that. I agree. He got what he got. He got what he deserved. Fuck Chris Rock and Terrence Hayes. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm joking, That's Terrence. Hilarious. You know I love you. 
<laughs> we're going to see you with Kansas City. Yeah, I was going to say. We're going to see you with Kansas City. We're going to roll up on us during a BBS. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Now you can talk that shit. I'll say how big your black sack really is. <laughs> yeah, this is what I meant when I was set tripping. I wish. I wish. No. Y'all black sack's just turning the ovaries. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> All we got to do is pull up to a Panera bread and we'll find them recording in front of us. <laughs> got a cold potato soup. <laughs> Terrible. All right, anyways, this has been the Off Boys Podcast. We hope that you had a blast listening to this episode. Um, before we go, if you're listening to this right now, then how about you hop and skip on over to Kansas City and, uh, you know, just wait for us to get there. As this release, we should, the day, at least on Friday, That's why we should it. be in Kansas City. So wait, yeah. a, wait a day. Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting I'm a, thinking about I'm, it. I'm, I'm a professional, man. I don't know. All right. All right. Got my dick, bitch. No. But if a zombie bit it, hey. <laughs> and I must have been desperate yeah. that day. <laughs> Check out our YouTube, man. We got videos up now. Right on. I finally got on my <laughs> my job. I got one job. Hey, man. You know you're a businessman. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, anything to plug before we go? Nope. nope. Uh, nope. March. In the March. Uh, check us out at Napsker Park Jam Session. Hey, Sam, you want to rap? And he says, <laughs> Knows how he ain't even asked me. I already knew you wanted to rap. I don't need to ask you. Nah, you Ooh, do got to ask you me. You don't need to ask me either. Talking Anyways, so we'll be down at Nafker <laughs> Park at the end of this month. Make sure you come down there and boogie with us. We're going to have hot dogs, uh, some boigas, no, we won't. and punch for no, the kids. We won't. No, um, we won't. It's going to be a whole Don't blast. We're going to turn up. Food. I'm going to take my, my hoodie budget. I'm going to put it all into the food, no, and it's going to be a blast. Um, John is going to roll up with one hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, cut it up. Make it work. <laughs> a bag of chips. <laughs> Anyways. Don't be discouraged by the construction going on at the park. We we still going to be, you know, boogie, yuggy, yuggy. Right on. They're they're getting rid of the fake grass and making it all astroturf, so y'all white people can just lay on that. Astroturf That's is fake grass. Racist. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Not that never mind. Anyways, all right. This is being All Points Podcast. This is Jonathan the Great. This is Kyle. This is Sam A.K. Okay, the semi conscious stagecoach. Midwest. A two. Tim in the corner. And we are out of here. Peace.